Now, earlier we discussed catalytic converter thefts, so let's rejoin our reporter John Paul Davis, who's been in Gwent following up on this problem. Now, between 2019 and 2020, the theft of catalytic converters across the UK went up by more than 100%. In fact, in some areas, that number was as high as 400%. So I'm here at Gwent Police's Fleet Garage to find out a little bit more about what's going on here with Superintendent Mark Cleland, who's uh, British Transport Police's national lead for metal crime. Well, Mark, first of all, tell us what a, a catalytic converter does. So this is a catalytic converter, this piece here, as part of the exhaust system. OK, well, thieves have cottoned on to the fact that there's something worth stealing here. So um, when we talk about uh, the crime of stealing catalytic converters, is it something new? The suggestion perhaps this has just popped out of nowhere. No, it's been around for a couple of years. And what's driven it at the moment is the price of metal. So uh, the metals in a catalytic converter are almost an, an all time high, which makes them quite stealable. OK, so who's doing the stealing and where are the stolen converters uh, going? So, generally, there's uh, an element of opportunist. So, uh, some people just see an opportunity to steal one of these and make a little bit of cash. Uh, but generally, it's quite organised. Organised criminals who understand how to steal these and know where to take them, such as vehicle dismantlers, scrap metal dealers. And we're often now seeing them being shipped out of the country internationally directly. Really? So it's quite a big operation. Um, how would you advise people then to, to try and prevent against this happening to them? Uh, whilst we're appealing to all owners of, of cars with catalytic converters, uh, we're really concerned about owners of cars that are over 10 years old and owners of hybrid vehicles, which are more at risk. Uh, so our advice is to park them securely, make it difficult to access the underside of the vehicle, uh, use things like uh, cat locks that bolt the catalytic converter in place, and just think about uh, visibility, you know, lighting, CCTV, something that will make it more secure where it's parked. Really good advice, Mark. Thanks so much. Well, let's get a word now with Inspector Hannah Lawton, uh, who uh, is part of We Don't Buy Crime team here in Gwent Police. Um, Hannah, how are you in Gwent tackling this problem? So the team tackles um, and targets acquisitive of crime, including catalytic converter theft, using a range of tactics. Um, we work with second-hand retailers, um, scrap metal merchants, auction houses to stop and block the onward sale of stolen goods and stop criminals from benefiting and profiting from these types of crimes. We also use our covert capabilities, so we have capture bikes, capture cars, capture vehicles and other capture assets which we utilise against offenders. Um, we also use technology such as smart water, uh, forensic marking, so we hold regular smart water marking events and that includes catalytic uh, converter marking events such as the one that our uh, PC, Anthony Moore, is, is doing behind us here. Yeah, tell me a little bit more about how this works, Smart Water. So Smart Water is a traceable forensic marking solution. Each pack has got um, a specific forensic ID, a forensic code, which is registered to the owner. So if that property is stolen, if it's taken, we can trace that back to its rightful owner. It's also a way of linking offenders to a specific crime. So you only need a tiny speck to do that and it's got a 100% conviction rate in court cases where it's used as evidence. So it's especially effective as a deterrent within our community. Really effective. Hannah, thanks very much. Well, the car there that PC Moore behind us is working on belongs to uh, Sally Ann, yes, who's does, yes. uh, got quite a story to tell, actually, because the catalytic converter on your car, someone attempted to steal it, you caught them red-handed. So what happened? Yes, I'm actually in a place of work, and just down from there, I parked my car. Mm. And um, one of my colleagues had said to me, ah, you haven't worked on a new car. And I said, no, this is there's a gentleman underneath it. Um, I sp sprinted down to see two car people getting into the car and spreading off. Um, lucky enough, uh, my colleague had taken a photograph of the registration number and I phoned the police immediately. God, you could be a police officer sprinting down like that, Sally Ann, but yeah, you got there just in time to, to stop them stealing the converter, but there was some damage done. So, so what was the cost, Sally Ann? £130, but there was an inconvenience of, of, of this happening. And to get parts for this particular car, you had to send it back to Japan. Um, so it would have taken a long time to get repaired. OK, well, thank you very much. So people really need to be uh, vigilant and take those precautions. That great advice that we just heard to keep those catalytic converter thefts at bay. <laughs>